Hello there, amazing and wonderful geeky people of YouTube. Uh, first of all, if you hear some music and some people running up down in the background, apparently someone in the apartment complex is having a party and stuff like that. Can it run crisis? And you need to be an older dude or my age or maybe a little bit younger. Let's say in your 30s to remember this, but back then, crisis was like a benchmark for uh, games to, to run basically, to, or for, for computers to see if they can run Crisis because it was so basically unoptimized, you know, it, it needed a, a really, really hefty computer and graphic card and all that. Crisis is a old, old, old game. I don't know why it won't go into the store page, there you go. You see it's from 2007, but for many years it was like the the test of times to see if it, you know you had a good computer. So I, I based the uh, first of all I, I tweaked the OBS settings a little bit and the Nvidia settings hopefully to migrate and mitigate or what it's called some of the screen tearing I had on my initial uh, game test. But let's just see if we can actually run Crisis here. I actually had played this on my old computers back in the day. So let's see if Linux, or Arch Linux in this case, can run Crisis. So now it's yelling at us for running Steam Play. Let's continue. Uh, I have to copy this one out apparently. Play. It's preparing to launch. It's installing DirectX. We are running this under Proton by the way, and I want a cup of tea. Mmm, green tea with lime or lemon taste, not lime, I think. Is it lime or lemon? I think it's actually... Oh, it is uh, lime. Uh, yeah, why not? I have no idea if this works. It is an older game. It's not a game that's being played anymore, so this may not work. Let's see, it's sending some packages, uh, blah, 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 blah. This is mostly for online game. If this won't work, uh, the, the anti-cheat, which is say that it did without arrows. So let's just click OK, let's click finish. So that will not be a game stopping thing if you cannot play online. We basically just want to see if we can start it up and get into the game. Click next. There's a lot of things here and a lot of agreements here. And let's put it into this folder. Uh, no, no, no. Launch comrade. Windows start. What is Comrade? Oh, it's the Game Spy. Oh, <laughs> it helps if you actually read what the fuck is going on. Um, I don't want to launch it. Do I have to launch it? Finish. Okay, so now it's synchronizing. It's running. I should have had have hate top up on my, uh, what you call it. My other screen here. Oh! What's going on? Crisis! Yeah, I think it botched out, man. Let's try and run it one more time and see what's going on. It could be that the uh, Game Spy thingy. Come on, Crisis. Run for daddy! Oh! And it will crash again. Yeah, it crashed. So apparently we cannot run Crisis. This is not a big deal, people. Come on. This is not a big deal. It's an old game, and I'm sure you can get it to run with some tweaking and stuff like that. I just don't want to get into it right now, to be honest. As you guys can see, it's it's a little bit late in the evening for me. But it was, it was just a, a fun thing to, to see if we could get Linux to run Crisis. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. I'm sure, sure we can with some command line tweaks and stuff like that. But as you guys can see here, I have a lot of games on my uh, Steam library. I have this thing that I kind of want to see if, if I can get any every game running on the Linux. The problem is, even though I have like kind of a, a fast internet, I can get it faster. The, the downside is that I have to wait sometimes an hour, a little bit more than an hour for some of the big games to run. But if you guys want me to see 
installing each and every game I have in my library here on the Arch Linux and see if we can get it up and running. Meaning, I don't tweak anything. I don't, uh, you know, I, I will not go in and, and, and go out of my way to make it work. It's plug and play. So we install seven days. This is a natively run Linux, uh, by the way. Um, seven days to die, so this will run. But let's just say, like, it was what, what other game do we have? Black Desert. I don't think that's a natively run uh, Linux game. So I will not go in and do command line or launch tweaks and stuff like that. Oh, this is not a, a Linux uh, natively run Linux game. Meaning, if do you guys want me to test all these out? And I will only test the ones out that are not natively Linux uh, run. So it's below only Proton games. So I have to sort out my list somehow. Or we can just, you know, take them from the start and go in and see if they have a li uh, Linux uh, OS support. And if they have, we will go to the next one. And I will not look at the Proton database and stuff like that. It will just be us testing out. You know, we install it and we click play. You get what I'm saying here? So I will, again, I will not go in and, and do these, uh, go in, in properties and do launch, uh, launch your customization. You know, oh, you have to put this in to make it, make it work. I, I'm kind of curious to see of how easy can we get this to, to work. Let's see here, set launch options. We will not go in here and set anything here. I just want it to be plug and play. Just to see how many of my games uh, will run out of the box. And then we can go and talk about, you know, fiddling around with command lines and stuff like that. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. It, it will be a really, really, really crazy, uh, what you call it, uh, long-term project. And it also means that I have to stick with Arch Linux on, this, uh, on my uh, Linux hard drive until this is done. And it will, like like you can see here, I have over 500 games. And I think 200 of them, or little, or 100 and f around 200 of them are natively run Linux games. Or even less than that, 150 I think it is, in total. So you, so we have around 400 games we need to go through, or stuff like that, around that area. So, yeah, like I said, it's it's a lot. I won't play them. It will be, like I said before, I install them. We just, we click install, blop, and we click play, and then we just see, we'll see, can we do it that easily without going and meddling around with um, command line launcher options and stuff like that, and stuff like that, because that's what most people would do. They would click install, and they would click play. They, they don't want to go in and do, you know, what we geeky people like to do. So let me know if with likes and comments, and the more comments I get from you guys saying that I should do it, the bigger chance is that I will do it. So, without any tweaking, it cannot run Crisis. I didn't expect it, because it is like a 13-year-old game, and I, I know it can run Crisis, you just have to tweak it a little bit, but without tweaks, you cannot get it to run. See you all later, bye-bye.